because I've traveled a lot the last six, seven years, like also quite a lot in Asia, and my, I have quite some, I would not say Asian influences regarding combinations, but Asian ingredients. I use a lot of Asian uh, flavors into, uh, how do you say, the Europe, European kitchen. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a sort of, a, I call it a more exciting mix. Like it's not a fusion, or how this, I don't like that word. It's just that uh, I like to work with ginger. I like to work with XO cream, what I learned in Hong Kong. I just like those, uh, like lime leaf. I like those powerful flavors. I just, so I try to combine it in my own cooking style, uh, in my own French-orientated, you know, my French-based cooking style. Okay. Well, that was the biggest surprise, I think, in my whole life. I mean, we expected a little, like one we were expecting, but like two was like, wow, that was really, really great. Uh, um, well, the dishes, um, there's some, I, I show some different kind of techniques, especially in the, in the menu. Of course, you also, uh, in Shanghai, you cannot get all the ingredients, so I need to also need to have a look at that. But um, in this menu, you can really see that I have a passion for uh, seafood. So there's a lot of seafood in the menu. And also one dish is really inspired on Hong Kong. It's the second dish, it's the Caramineo. That's also the one I'm going to show. Uh, it's with XO cream, it's with sea urgent, it's with uh, ginger, watermelon. It's, and it's with Caramineo, it's the, the red water, uh, water prawn. It's like uh, 600 meters deep, they catch. Um, so it's, it's uh, there are some, I think it's a really good example of how I cook. Uh, 